Okay, okay, welcome everybody to the one and only kitchen where you can get the right feelings at the right time. I say this is the kitchen you want to be in. My name is Daryl Aquino. Okay, what you see here is three lemongrass, okay? Now, here we've got some onions, ginger, garlic ginger, there's uh, onions there, yeah, there's, there's the pickling onions, coriander, and we've got some uh, cream here fish gravy fish sauce uh, all the spices here you, you name it we've got it we got some sweet lips snapper king prawns okay we've got lotus here that's the lotus okay we got fried tofu right there okay uh yellow sauce yellow bean sauce we got eggs up there gram dal roasted gram dal roasted rice okay we got the cashmere chili there Okay, vermicelli. Okay, that's the uh, rice stick we got here. That's the one. And we got a bit of a, a few things ready for Rosie next door. Juke pea. And that, that's your rice. Vermicelli, bit of coriander, lemons, fried shallots. Okay, let's let's start this one. Let's don't mess around anymore. Okay. All right, we just stabilize the camera. Okay, so you, we know where we stand. Okay. Right, right, we've got that, we've got that going now. There's three lemongrass here. Okay, now, let's, let's, let's tell you what it is. We got today, Saturday, 25th of the 3rd, 23, we in autumn. Yes, you and Aquino's Kitchen in Morley, Western Australia. Okay, right, now, now, let's put the heat up. Okay, the heat's just up now. Okay, let's let's get this um, let's get this all going here. Okay, let's get it going. Okay, righto, righto, radio, and we just add the oil in there. Okay, just put them in there. It's lemongrass. Usually we take the extract extract out of lemongrass, but the Aussies always say, "Where's the lemongrass, mate? Mate, mate, there it is. Lemongrass, three of those, mate. There you go." Okay, okay, we've got it started here. We've got the fire going here. Okay, let's throw these onions here. Now, this is a, a special dish we are, we are cooking, okay? Now, let me show you what it is. It's uh, Piyasu City. That's Piyasu City. Mio, Mio is city, okay? That's a, okay, that's a village style Mohinga, Burmese Mohinga, cooked into Australian style, okay? Right, right. Okay, now, they usually use two, two pots, and we're not going to do that. we against time frame. So the pickling onions, lemongrass, and the fish, they cook it onto one pot. We're not going to do that. Okay, we're going to put the um, onions in there. Okay, we're just going to add the onions in there earlier because, uh, like I said, we're on, we on a time frame. We've got plenty of onions here. Okay, they will just melt in the pot. Okay, you don't you don't have any concern about that. Don't worry about that. Okay, we've got that going here. All right, let's give this a stir. Just a mix. Okay, we put the fire back up again. Okay, fire comes back up again. Okay, here we've got some onions. Okay, this is a fresh onions. We blend that in our blenders. Not a, not a coffee blender or fruit pr processor. Okay, this is a, okay, just add a bit more of that. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Fresh onions. Always the best from Spudshed in Coventry Village in Morley, Western Australia. That's where we do all our shopping first. So just to keep the uh, cost down. Now, here we got some ginger garlic, okay? Now, these are, these are, let me show you the garlics here. Again, these are from Coventry Village, Morley, Western Australia. Purple garlic. You can buy it anywhere you like, okay? We got the uh, fire coming up. Okay, we add the ginger, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of ginger there, up there, all over the place. Okay, lovely. Ginger, ginger goes really good. This this is a dish that required the uh, ginger, ginger, and garlic, purple garlic, you know, fresh young ginger. Always get the young ginger. Okay, let's put the fire up. Okay, just play around with the fire. Okay. And this one's a 2,400, 2,400 heat ankle, you know, uh, 
they do make another one with the 1800 so with the 2400 you can you can have it you can control it you can control the heat okay when it goes up you put it back up again okay and you got your 35 across there 28 that's very good because you can cook on that side and this there all over the place that's one thing good good with this frying pan but this is by Enco. Okay, now we're going to add a bit of a coriander into it. Okay, Asian dish, or they require some coriander. Be generous with the coriander. Okay, they will just melt in there. Okay, we keep the coriander up there. Okay, okay. Okay, we keep talking. Okay, all right. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Getting on so good. Okay. All right, now if everything seems to be shaping up, okay, now, now, let me, let me show you. This is a curry. There you are. This is a Piyasu village, Mohinga curry. Of course, it's made into Australian style. Fish, prawns, lemongrass, and lotus and eggs we've got. Okay, okay. Now we're gonna put the, uh, Sweet lip snapper, we showed you during the weekdays, we got it from Coventry Village, from the fish market. Okay, everything seems to be Coventry Village in Morley, Western Australia. Okay, and that's a huge big place here, over there. So, uh, because of the fact that our kitchen is located in Morley, it's very, uh, you know, uh, it's good to go there. Okay, let's, let's get this one going here. Okay, now we're going to show you what it is here. Okay. Now this one here, to make this uh, Mohinga as a Burmese signature dish, you need cashmere, that's dry prawns, and then you're looking at a bit of a black pepper, turmeric, chicken powder, and while mum's away, I slip the uh, sugar in there, she wouldn't know. Okay, let's get the heat going again. Okay. Okay, put it up. Okay, now I'll, I'll go in front of you. Okay, you see me in the frame. Sorry about that because there are two fans on this side and one above it. So we don't want they, these fans to uh, fan our curry away. I mean, the, our chili powder away. Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. That's done. It wasn't hard, is it? Okay. Just give this a bit of a stir here. All right. Oh, look at that. I can just smell the ginger garlic now. The, uh, the lemongrass is just kicking in. Usually we, uh, you know, we use the extract lemongrass. We got blenders. So this time we do it different. There's three lemongrass floating. Okay, we add a little hot water into it. Okay, look at that. Okay, we've got the hot water going. Okay, now we're going to add, we're going to add this um, uh, fish in, into it, okay? This is a fish. Okay, this is a fish. Sweet lip snapper. Look at these big pieces. All the Aussies would have loved this. They're going to go whack it in my, throw it in my. Hey! <laughs> there it is. Trying to feed the Aussies. No meat. They've been knocking at your door and say, What might no meat, no fish? Whack it in, mate. Oh, I'm doing that for you, buddy. Okay, look at that. All of it. We marinate that with um, a bit of a chicken powder and, um, you know, yellow bean sauce, black pepper. We use all that. Okay, heaps of it. Look at that. Oh, they'd be so happy. Look at these pieces. They always get the expens expensive fish. That's a lovely piece. Snapper, red snapper. Look at these, let me tease you, let me tease you. There it is, okay? I put the whole lot in. Okay, now if this fish will break up, that's fine. It's supposed to break up, but part of it won't break up, or that's a bonus if it doesn't break up, okay? All right. Let's add a bit of a hot water into it to clean the uh, plastic bowl. Okay. Right. Beautiful, beautiful. Traveling so good. Okay? Now, now, we're gonna add a bit of a, let, let's have a look. We're gonna add a bit of this uh, salted beans, okay? This is a one, it's a 
salted beans, natural brewed by uh, Dragon and Phoenix, okay? Okay, F fermented bean. We throw that one in there. Throw it in, mate, like the Aussies will say. Chuck it in, mate. Okay. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we, we just, oh, we are doing so well. Okay. This is a Burmese signature dish. Okay, but like I said, we're going we're gonna to use the Australian style cooking. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to add a bit of a hot water, okay, to give you a bit of a gravy, and then we put a cover onto the uh, uh, pot, okay? Right. Okay, a bit of a hot water, okay, and we put the heat up to, uh, we're going to put the heat up to 2,400, okay? So whatever you do, don't you go anywhere, and you are watching Aquino's Kitchen. My name is Daryl Aquino, so stay with, stay with Aquino's Kitchen. Okay, we are back, we are back. Okay, now let me, let me explain something to you. This one, Piasu City, uh, is, to me in Burmese, sound like God's Village or something like that. Okay, um, that's their style of Mohinga, this is a village style of Mohinga. Now, to go to this particular town in Burma, Right now, you got to go past this particular town, Dazi City. I've been there because my uncle was a train driver, diesel train driver. They got the uh, railway quarters up in Burma with, in this particular town, Dazi City. Okay, just to say a little bit uh, in the, to the Burmese people out there, just to send a message to Piasu City and the uh, Tazi City. Just to say, my name is Daryl Aquino. Don't forget to subscribe, mate. Thank you so much. It goes a little like this. Do you know, name Daryl Aquino. Akono mingalaba. Do you know, Lee? Subscribe to our low weba. No, my main is CIE. Hote kwa gojijo. Jesu miyayi jimare. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's the way it goes. That was quite simple, isn't it? Okay, now that's look at this. That's looking good. I could smell the lemongrass. I could smell it. Oh, it's so 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 nice, and and I'm really hungry. Okay, those that subscribed for me recently. Okay, recently. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. They are lovely people that subscribe for me. There are heaps of people that did. Okay. So uh, thank you so, so, so much. Okay, now we're gonna put a bit of a lotus on. Okay, um, this is the lotus. Okay, that's the lotus. We're gonna add the lotus in there now. Okay, um, you can use banana bark, that, but you can't get it. You know, but, oh, banana blossom, other way around. Okay, this is, this is lotus. This is lovely. Okay, you can buy it over any Asian shop. Make no mistake about that. It's lovely. It just melts in there. Okay, right. The next one we're going to add on is this one, Bina Aussie dish. A bit of a thickening cream. Okay, you can get any type of thickening cream. Okay, this is 35%. Few spoonfuls. It's not 35, okay. This is the Australian way of doing it. The Aussie, they love that thickening cream because, you know, they drive caravans and they go out weekends and stuff like that. You know, they're always using this cream to make stew, roast, whatever. It's beautiful. Okay, uh, that's lovely. So that's a bit of a, you know, give you that cream. You know, bring the creams into it. It's not coconut milk. It's, it's uh, cream, okay, cream. So what we're going to do, because of it's gone white, so we've got a tree here. You know what the tricks are. Okay, we're going to show you what it is. Okay, before we do that, we're going to add a bit of a fish sauce into it. Lovely, lovely fish sauce. Okay. Okay, here we go. That's a fish sauce. We're going to add a little of that. And there's another type of fish sauce, sauce we've got here. That's a bit saltier, so we, we can't add too much of that. You, you might have your own brand, okay? You need a bit of a fish sauce in there. Lovely. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now, now, there's a trick here. This one we're going to add... Okay, we're gonna add chili oil into a cashmere. We we did a bit of a roasty cashmere on down the back to uh, get some chili red. There it is, red colored chili. This is not hot. This is just for uh, color because you know if you're gonna present this dish to uh, your customer, 
You know, if it's not red, they're going to say, what, mate? It's white. It's supposed to be red, mate. Oh, there it is. You know, that, that's red now. So um, you can't complain about it. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, we'll just get the spoon in there. Right, we do a bit of a... Okay, lovely looking. And now we're going to add the uh, prawns into it. The Aussie, they love their prawns. You know, we don't want them to say, what, no prawns, mate? Hey! <laughs> okay, we're going to add the prawns for the Aussies. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a rich, rich rather dish. But you got you know you got your prawns coming in, okay? The whole lot. We put the whole lot in there for the Aussies. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna try and stir this one up. Okay, okay, a little bit of the stir here, and add a bit of a water into it. A bit of a hot water, so you can get you can get some gravy into it. Okay, here we go. Don't worry, don't worry, because we've got the thinners, okay? We keep the heat up. Okay, we're going to bring the thinners in. This is a, this is a gram doll thinner, okay? Uh, we roast that down the back, okay? Uh, and you can't put too much in it. Roasted gram doll powder. A lot of people say when you're cooking this dish, Mohinga, oh, you can't add the gram doll. But, you know, you find that the rice, the rice, um... The rice powder, it doesn't thicken the gravy, okay? But nevertheless, we show you, okay? That's the rice. That is the rice um, powder, rice and dal powder mixed together, okay? Roasted, of course. We put a couple of spoons. You, put, you can't put too much in there because it gets too thick. You know, it gets too heavy, okay? It gets too thick. It gets too heavy. Now, you can see the, uh, you can see the red color floating on there. And, you know, the lemongrass is really kicking into it. So, you know, when you go to a restaurant, there it is. You, you serve that in the bowl. Okay, now with, uh, okay, with this vermicelli noodles, you boil it. Okay, we showed you earlier, okay, on short videos. You can buy this any Asian shop anywhere. Okay, that's a rice vermicelli. Okay. Okay. There's another brand here you, you, you can use. It doesn't matter what brand you use, they're all good. But as long as the noodles are thin, okay? Okay, now let me show you. Now these are, these are very thin noodles, okay? These are very thin noodles, okay? I'll just get a fork and show you. Okay, we boiled it, okay? And we laced it up with a bit of oil to, so it won't stick. Look at that. It's got to be perfect. Not too hard, not too soft. So when you're boiling it, you've got to keep stirring and stirring it up, okay? Right, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that going here. Okay, now look, look at that, that, that is the Mohinga, it's nice. I like the cream, like the Aussies always say, whack the cream, mate. Oh, that is beautiful, okay? I think because of the prawn, it doesn't take much to cook, it doesn't take long to cook. So what we do, okay, what we do, we're going to give it another blast. A bit of a liquid when you eat it, okay? A bit of a liquid there, a bit of a water there. Okay, we're going to throw that on the 2400 heat, okay? Stay with the Aquino's Kitchen. You in the Aquino's Kitchen, okay? Don't forget, this is the Australian-style cooking, okay? Okay, and, and don't forget, too, this is good food, good times. There are Aquino YouTube and click videos. we got about over 450 or 460 videos, okay? Stay with us, okay? Don't you go away anywhere. You're watching Aquino's Kitchen. My name is Daryl Aquino. Okay, we are back now. This is what we are cooking. If you just tune in, Piasu Village, Mohinga, Australian style. We got fish, okay, uh, sweet leaf snapper. We got lemongrass. We got prawns, lotus. Okay, we're going to add the eggs now. Okay, we just open the... Uh, okay, we're going to just open a little of that. It's looking good. It's looking good. Lovely. Now, usually we, uh, we cut the eggs in half. What happened is uh, at, the, uh, at this particular place, Piasu Village, they put the um, eggs whole. What happens is when the yolk breaks open, the yellow comes out and takes over the, uh, the actual curry. Okay, so what I've done, and I uh, got the knife, I just glazed it in the middle part, okay? Okay, um, let me show you what I've done. Okay, that, that's what it is. It's like that. You just cut it like that, okay, all the way through. You can see there's a cut there, right? Just just cut it down there like that a little bit so that it doesn't leak, okay? 
Okay, we just put all that eggs in there. Okay, lovely. And a bit of a coriander in there. Okay, been an Asian dish. Okay, now I put the heat back on and we just call them off, okay? Okay, we've got the heat back on. We're just going to add a bit of a... This is a tofu we showed you earlier, okay? Now that tofu will soak in there with a bit of a gravy in it, okay? There it is, the tofu for the vegetarian. I've got friends over there, you see, okay? Now we, we put that tofu in there, that it's lovely, into this mohinga. You don't have it if you don't want to. A lot of people like that tofu in their curries and things like that, okay? There it is. That, that's all finished, okay? We turn the fire off. It doesn't take, prawns and fish doesn't take long to cook. We give it a stir, okay? We give it a stir. Okay, look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, couldn't ask for more. Okay, that's it. That's it. It doesn't take long to cook, isn't it? Okay, now what we're going to do... Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, serve you, okay? We're going to... We're going to serve you. That, that's the juke pea, okay? If you want to know what the juke pea looks like, that's it. That's what they look like. That's that. These are juke pea. You can buy it at any Asian shops, okay? You can buy it over any Asian shops. Okay, that, that, that is a juke pea. Now, the name of the game is to... Uh, I put the liquid in there, and you got to get the juke pea, mix it in there, pour the liquid into there, okay? That's the way they eat it, okay? Now, uh, let's, let's, let's get it going. Okay, okay, you're watching me? This is this is for Rosie next door. Okay, oh, look at all this fish. Oh, she would enjoy it. Wish you were here. I could really, oh, look at this. Oh, that's absolutely wicked. She's going to enjoy this. This is nice and sweet, okay? A bit of a gravy to go with it. Lots of gravies, okay? Oh, that gravy here goes extremely well. Look at that. That is, that is so, so nice. That's why you call Burmese Mohinga cook in the Australian style. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to put a chopping board on there. Okay. And then we we call it off. We need to about 22 minutes. Sorry about that. Okay. Stay with the Aquino's Kitchen. Okay, okay, we are back now. This is uh, Aquino's Kitchen located in Morley, Western Australia, in the big sand grubber country. Okay, Aussie style cooking, of course. That's what we've got. And we, our style of cooking is uh, an Australian, Burmese, hardcore fusion style cooking. And tonight, what you see here, and make no mistake about this, that's it. Piasu village style. Mohinga curry, Australian style, fish, prawns, lemongrass, lotus, eggs, and that's it. That's it. And this one's for next door neighbor Rosie. Rosie's gonna like this one here. Okay, I'll bring it closer. Okay, now the juke pea here on the top there, the Burmese people call it pejo. Pejo is juke peas. That's it. That's the one. Okay, no more to add on. Okay, we gotta we gotta make a move now. That is a Burmese signature dish, cooked in an Aussie way. Oi, oi, oi! Okay, we pull the camera back now. Okay, we're gonna have to leave you. Okay, now, thanks for watching Aquino's Kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe for me. Okay, you stay safe, be safe. Okay, this is coming from Morley, Western Australia, in the big sand grubber kitchen. My name is Daryl Aquino. Okay, ciao, baby, and get cheeky with it. Hee <laughs> hee!